Let's take a look at how to install Visual Studio using the custom option. For this example, we'll use the Community Edition of Visual Studio 2015. In order to get it, simply visit visualstudio.com and click on the Download Community 2015 button. Once we've clicked on the download, it'll download to our computer and it's a web installer. So we click on the Run button and it will initiate the installation routine for Visual Studio Community 2015. Once we have the Options screen available, it's time to start looking at customizing the installation of Visual Studio. For the most part, the default allows you to create web and desktop type applications. But if you want to create different styles of applications or include more languages, then the custom option is what you should be choosing. I always recommend selecting the custom option for the installation of Visual Studio 2015 to ensure that you're getting the packages and libraries that you need to create the applications you may wish to use. So by selecting custom and clicking on the next button, we are now brought to the screen where we can select the different features. The first option is programming languages. And if we click the arrow to expand it, we can see that we have Visual C++, Visual F Sharp, and the Python tools for Visual Studio that are additional programming languages that will get installed if you select this option. Remember, by default, Visual Studio Community Edition will only install C Sharp and Visual Basic templates. Also notice under Visual C++, we have options for the common tools, the Microsoft Foundation classes, and then Windows XP support for C++. For my purposes, I like to have all of my programming languages available to me because I create projects using the different languages all the time. So I'm going to select the checkbox next to programming languages to install all of those programming types. Also under Windows and Web Development, we can choose various options here for things such as the Quick sorry, Quick Once Publishing Tools, SQL Server Data Tools, PowerShell Tools or Visual Studio, Silverlight Development, etc. Here's a very important component. If you want to develop universal Windows applications, we need to ensure that we have the tools, the emulators, and the SDK. Now, you can choose the default install of Visual Studio and then come back and install the Windows 10 SDK at a later time, and that will include the tools, the SDKs, and the emulators for you, but it's so much easier to install these during the installation of Visual Studio. Please note that it will increase the install size of the application, so the tool set will be much larger. So again, depending on what it is that you want to do, you may want to select Universal Windows App Development Toolkit, PowerShell tool for Windows, or for Visual Studio rather, if you want to be using Power, uh, PowerShell tools within your applications. If you need backward compatibility for Windows 8.1 and Windows Phone 8.0 and 8.1, you can select this option. Also, there are some common tools or cross-platform mobile development tools. These are important if you want to develop applications using the Xamarin platform. Xamarin is a cross-platform tool that allows you to create applications for Windows Phone, for iOS devices, and for Android devices by using the C-Sharp language in Visual Studio. All of these tools are available for the cross-platform mobile development using the Xamarin platform. It includes all of the emulators as well. So again, remember, it will increase the size of the install base for Visual Studio. You might also notice that because I selected the cross-platform mobile development tools, we now have a little box inside the Windows 8.1 and Windows Phone tools. If we expand that, we'll see that it has included tools and Windows SDKs. And the reason it does that is because there's a potential that you may want to target the Windows Phone 8.0 or 8.1 applications. So the tools and SDKs will also get installed. At the same time, the Common Tools checkbox includes a little square box indicating that we have also added another component here, and that is the Git for Windows. So we can install Git, which is your source control, GitHub extension for Visual Studio, so that you can integrate with GitHub uh, source control projects, and then, of course, an extensibility tool update 3 for Visual Studio as well. You'll notice that by selecting all of these options, setup can require up to 48 gigabytes across all of the drives that we'll install it on. So again, review each of the items that you have selected to ensure you have all the necessary components, tools, and SDKs 
for your development tools of choice or platforms of choice and then select the next button. Once you do, you basically see a quick little selected features screen that will tell you all of the different items that you have selected and by clicking install you agree to the license terms of all the software components. If you're not sure what those are, each one of the one or each one of the items that has license terms allows you to click on it to view those. Once you're satisfied with it, click the install button and Visual Studio starts installing all of the components that you have selected. So this is a quick overview of how to perform a custom installation of Visual Studio 2015.